gonna decorate for fall today. So this is what my bed typically looks like. I kind of like a messy made up look. Like I made the bed but it still looks super comfy for me to jump into. Um, and my bed and probably, um, I, I call it my mantelpiece, which is where my TV is, um, and the closet is hanging there. She looks pretty rough from Hurricane Sandy that just happened, so I've got all the flashlights and candles and just stuff sat up here, but for the summer, I have the little dragonfly theme going on. So I think I'm going to decorate up here and my bed for fall. So I'm thinking candles, lights, and pillows. Um, I got this pillow at Walmart. I think it was $5.95. It's kind of a burlap material. And I feel like this could go from... September all the way to the beginning of December and if you don't want it to be Thanksgiving-y you just have the plane on the other side but I like the gather together I like the gold it's very fall it makes me think of family and happiness even though this year sucks okay <laughs> and then I got these little adorable um pumpkin I guess you could call them fairy lights because they are so tiny and they're exactly the same kind as my dragonfly ones, only pumpkin. And then I may put this around for some aesthetic, I don't know, <laughs> because candy corn and because it's an orange color and I definitely will devour this. I've already had two buckets of this. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. And then I, excuse me made a pillowcase for a Christmas pillow underneath here and I think that that will be good colors all together. This was actually a fleece blanket that I made um a princess on a cape out of you know the one she wears when she goes to find Elsa in the North Mountain. She buys it from um what do you call it? Oaken's Trading Post, that cloak that she buys. I made one of those out of this blanket, but then I had extra blanket material left and didn't know what to do with it, and I've kept it for like four years. And here we go. So I made a pillowcase, and I will show you how I made that, and I'll show you the pillow underneath, and then I will get to decorating. So this is strange, but I also have this burlap sack type thing. Um, which is very fall and very southern. <laughs> um, but it was, um, somebody bought me a, comp a leather computer bag. And I don't know if it came in this or they just put it in this. But um, I was thinking about making something out of it. Because I don't think that I would ever give someone a gift in this. Um, it's very adorable and everything. But I think I would rather make something out of it. Especially for fall. So, I thought about making a pillowcase out of it, but actual burlap is so rough and kind of pokey, even. <laughs> so, I don't know if I'll use it. I, it might just be like a placemat type thing for something. I don't know, but I'm going to try to use it too.
like it. I feel like it's all the leaf colors, the leaf colors. And yeah, the peachy pink is kind of different, but I do have another set of sheets. I thought I had a fall blanket, a brown, a light brown one with leaves on it, but I don't know. Granny doesn't know that we ever had that, and I even asked my mom, did we used to have that? Do you have that at your house? And she said no! So I don't think I made that up, but I don't know where it is. This will have to do for now until I can figure out what else I want. I like it, but I want just a little something else. I even decided to decorate this area. So I just have some pine cones, a few leaves. Um, this one's very golden and shimmery. You can't really see it that well. And then up here, um, you can't really see. Okay, so this is how it looks without the light behind it. It is glowing very orange, but you just can't see that from far away in the camera. But I'll turn the light on so you can see everything else better. Okay, so over here I took that burlap bag and I just covered my snack box with it. Um, it's, I can still get to it on the inside. Uh, I just covered it up. I thought my green lantern was really cute, like camping. And green is still a very fall color. I have some leaves that I just pressed on there. There's no adhesive or anything. And they're sticking because the burlap is sticky. Um, this sign, I just felt like the colors went well. I got this at a white elephant Christmas party last year. And then I have a couple of candles um, that my friend made. And this one is called Spellbook, which I thought was very Halloweenish, even though I'm not a Halloweeny kind of girl. And then this one is Pumpkin Spice, but it's also with, you know, the um, the cute little mason jar, and it's got the the tie that matches the burlap. And then I have some pine cones up here. And they didn't have a plain pumpkin, so I had to get a jack-o'-lantern, which he's cute, but again, I'm not that Halloweeny. So I'm just gonna turn him around, and if I decide I want a jack-o'-lantern later, I have one. And then this is a candle that I bought uh, during the hurricane because I was running out of candles because the power was out for so long while I was dog-sitting. So I got this from Publix for, I think, $5.99. And then I just got this candle that I've had. I left my baby booty there and then this is a fake apple just like the fake pumpkin with the pine cone and it looks better from far away. I don't know if you can appreciate it as much as I do but I'm very happy with my little setup except for I do want something else over here. So, we'll see. But for now, I'm feeling fallish. <laughs> okay, but this is cute, right? I know that I wouldn't be able to sleep with a pumpkin, but I'm probably going to toss those pillows off anyway. You know? That's cute. And then, I have a cornucopia, which is where all these things... I don't know if you saw in my fall Thanksgiving pilgrimy video that I made last year. I had a cornucopia that I got from Goodwill I think and then I got all these pine cones and leaves and fake fruits to put inside of it so maybe I could put the cornucopia right here in this space and then leave the pumpkin there I don't know I don't know but we're gonna decide something I'm really upset about that blanket I've got to text my sisters and see if they remember that blanket too because I want it and it would be the perfect thing. The extra oomph that I want. I gotta figure that out. Okay, you can't see my face but that's not important right now. Okay, so I have this Christmas pillow that I'm gonna put out for Christmas, obviously. But I can't, I mean I do use this pillow all the time because Believe is in the name of my company 
and all that kind of stuff and Christmas in July and whatever but for fall I made this pillowcase so I literally just shove this pillow in the pillowcase you know how you would normally do a pillow in a pillowcase that same way it's always awkward putting a pillow in a pillowcase I don't care who you are the Queen of England I'm sure she doesn't put pillows in pillowcases but if she did she'd still look awkward doing it it's just how it is okay so I did not I left the end a raw edge so I'm just gonna do it like you're wrapping a Christmas present you take this part and so now here is where we would fold this over and tape it if it were a Christmas present but instead you just tuck it in so some people do their regular pillows like this but now from the front it just looks this looks like a normal pillow okay so I told you I was gonna show you how I, I have another case too because I had extra so here's what you do goodness I'm coming it's happening okay so this is it inside out that's important because when you have a piece what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold the piece and so I folded it and then you just sew around the edge except for this last part so you just make a rectangle or a square whichever shape material you want or you have and then you turn it inside out and shove the pillow in so you literally just sew up three sides around the edges and you want to leave the small side open because the small side is where the pillow will go does that make sense so that's how I did it super easy and I still have some material left um, I'm probably gonna use that for other things but so yeah that's how I made this pillow case and it's green which I feel like can be for spring or fall or Christmas so I'm very happy but I'm gonna use it for fall for now so yay stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are what makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of i wonder like me a little bit scared of heights why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside it really makes me wonder Yeah, it makes me wonder. 
wonder.